Hello everyone, welcome to Rush the Wash. My name is Miguel and today I'm going to teach you how to paint Space Marines. But first, let's break it down to three rules. Rule number one, our standard is for playing with the miniatures. Rule number two, no special tools, no special techniques, very easy and simple. Rule number three, we got 10 minutes to paint each miniature, max. It's time to start Rush the Wash. Welcome everyone to Rush the Wars. Today I'm gonna show you how to paint space wolves. Um, however, a word of notice here. As you can see, I'm giving you the list of paints right now because during the tutorial, I have to do a lot of back and forth painting the different parts of the miniature. So here, if you just pause the video, you can find all the different paints and how I did every single part of them with the exception of the base, which I think is a very personal choice and well you will see how to paint it on the tutorial but i didn't give you the instructions of how to do it here so without further ado let's start the tutorial now so the biggest surface of the miniature is the power armor and we're going to start with contrast apothecary white which is going to be the base the grayish color from which we're going to build the iconic space wolves gray color of the power armor get a big nice soft tip brush and with that just paint the whole miniature without being very scared about staining anything. After that first layer is already dry, I'm gonna use Gilliman Blue and I use one single glob of this glaze to paint the whole power armor. I will wait until this one dries and then I'm gonna do it for a second time. Believe me, you are going to want to have two coats of Gilliman Blue because Space Wolves armor are more blue than gray. With Griff Charger Gray, I will paint the different joints in between the armor plates. No need to go back to white for this. And also the belt buckle, which I don't show here in the video, but I painted with this color. With Iron Breaker, I will paint the knife, the different parts of the bolter that are metallic color, and also the vents in the power generator at the back. I'm gonna use now Gehenna's Gold to paint different golden parts in the miniature. Mostly it's going to be small imperial symbols, the Aquila Imperialis on the chest piece, the bullets inside the bolter, and also the different parts in the knife sheet and the knife guard and the knife pommel. All these I'm going to paint with this color as to show them as if they were brass or a nice gold color. We are going to use white scar now to clean up all the parts of the miniature that we stained with the previous washes. In particular, Space Marines do need to have a very careful approach to the details. And this is because the armor is mostly a remarkable solid color. So here I'm cleaning the shoulder pads, the knee pads, the leather pouches, the leather belt and the base and the face as well because now we're gonna start working with the pack marks for Space Wolves. I had to do a little bit of research about the pack marks for Space Wolves because these Space Vikings do not follow the rules for the rest of the Marines. And they are usually either a combination of yellow and black or red and black. And here, as you can see, I'm painting the yellow parts with Cassandra yellow and the red parts with Blood Angels. I need those to dry, so I'm going to go to something else. I'm going to paint the flesh with Reichland Flesh Shade. And now that everything else is dry, I'm going to use Basilica and Grey to paint the black parts in those different pack marks. Let's use now Null Oil to darken all the metallic parts that were painted before with Iron Breaker. Nolan oil will be used as well to paint the casing of the bolter one second time to darken that gray from Griff Charger Gray and also the vents in the generator. As I said before, we are painting all the metallic parts painted with Iron Breaker 
and to give a second layer on top of the black zones in the pack marks. It's time to work out those gold metals and we're gonna use Gilliman Flesh to gain some contrast to give them some extra life, more relief. Everything that we painted before with this color is going to be treated now with Gilliman's Flesh. Rivan Flesh Shade is a very nice color but here we just want to add a little bit of contrast so that's where we're gonna use Gilliman Flesh on top of Reichland. And we're going to also paint all the leather pouches with this color because it creates a very nice reddish brown tone that goes very well with the blue armor. Notice that I'm gonna use it to darken the recess, those small joints in the shoulder pads where we painted the armor yellow. And also we're gonna use it to paint the different casings of the bullets, etc. I'm gonna use Abaddon Black here to make sure that the geometrical patterns of the pack markings of the Space Wolf actually look sharp and I cannot recommend enough having decals to have a consistent result on the different uh, symbols on any Space Marine chapter but this in particular is very important for Space Wolves because they have all these small wolf heads, wolf paws fangs, etc, uh, etc. Et they have so many symbols and so many runes and so many things here and there. If you really want to save time, if you want your army to look good and consistent and neat, I think the best option, once again, is having those decals. Unless you are very good with free hands and you enjoy doing those. I'm gonna use the Skeleton Horde to do several things. One of them is painting the base sand, touching up a little bit of the gold here and there, painting the hair that this Space Wolf has, and then we're gonna move on to Agrax Earthshade. We're gonna touch all the leather with it. We're gonna give a nice thick coat of Agrax to the leather. We're gonna darken in between the feathers on the Aquila Imperialis, and then we're gonna touch up the face with this. We're gonna darken the eyes, the mouth, under the nose, and those scars over there. We're gonna now use Iron Breaker to give some highlights to the different metallic parts that we washed before with null oil. True Chi Violet, we're gonna use it for the ribbon on the shoulder pad, but you probably will have some purity seals. Go ahead and paint those with Druchi Violet. It's gonna look quite good. Quagon Orange is going to be used only to give a slight glaze on the hair that we painted before with the Skeleton Horde. And now we have a red-headed Viking in the space. I'm here touching up my different pack markings. As you can see the wolf, I'm painting the teeth and the eye making sure that everything is sharp and it looks the way it should look. And with white scar, I'm going to paint a small dot for the eyes. You don't really need to do this, this is just extra work, making sure that the runes, everything is okay. And because I'm using pure white, I'm cleaning up once again with another coat of Illiman Blue in those places where the white is just too obvious. To finish off the base, I'm going to tap wash with Agrax Earthshade and then I'm going to paint the trim on the base with Abaddon Black. Using Abaddon Black again and with a detail brush I will paint the pupils of the eyes and then call it finished. And here you have him, this is my finished Space Wolf. As you can see I added a couple of details on the base with snow and tufts. Now you must remember that all these miniatures that I paint are like my test models if I wanted to paint this army myself. Now that I know in which order I would paint everything and how many coats of everything will go, I think I can achieve this result consistently between 10 and 50 minutes, no problem. Space Wolves are one of the most iconic Space Marine chapters and I really really hope that if you are interested in painting them, this method will help you out. My name is Miguel, thank you for watching, see you next time, bye!